Um, basically, it was about making our own fun. You know, we weren't interested. We, we weren't kind of artists who were going to go around showing our portfolios to dealers and galleries and stuff. And we thought, well, we can just create our own gallery and have our own fun, invite our own friends, and just do it our own way. And it, that started in Leytonstone. We we had like a birthday show there, and we just invited everybody to bring a piece of work, their children, you know, it was really sort of democratic. Anybody, everybody we knew, we said, put a piece of work in for it. So we just had a sort of birthday party and a birthday show, created a poster, came up with a name, and it kind of went from there. Then we, then we came to Ipswich, and it, the house became a project, and we didn't have a space anymore. And then a few years down the, the roads, we created a space in our garden which was initially going to be a studio but became a gallery so we thought we've got the perfect space so we're going to have a studio gallery space like sculpture in the garden we're going to have the gallery in the garden which was like a, like a pavilion space and work in the house we started um, inviting artists to show but just people whose work we liked and wouldn't necessarily be that commercial or um, people who would um, do something with the space that we've already got. Just not really having an agenda as such. We, we just kind of, yeah. you know, showed the work that we like. We realised that we, we had, like, quite a lot of work from, from people who were sort of partly vaguely known or some who were more well-known than others. And we thought, yeah, we can incorporate that into the, the gallery as well. And rather than calling it a gallery, we can call it like a, pretend it's like um, uh, grander than it is. So, so kind of having artists, well-known artists as part of our collection kind of helped to do that. Um, I came up with the, um, the spoonerism of um, my, my late partner, who um, his hero is Donald Judd, I can never get it right, Donald Judd. So <laughs> I, I thought, oh, it's the perfect name, Ronald Judd, because it's a sort of, you know, like it's, it sounds like a spoonerism of his hero. And and Peggy Judd, it's like a sort of drag character. <laughs> so <laughs> they just seem like the perfect, perfect mix. I remember like being quite young, being at like an opening that you were doing and you doing like a, a toast in character with Peggy and being like wearing like massive sunglasses and speaking like an really American, uh, American voice. It's quite funny. I think it's nice to have this kind of relationship between the artwork and the ephemera that you have around the house. And also that is like the worst thing about it. You're like, oh. I but yeah, we have to tidy <laughs> up. I, I make ceramics and Mostly ceramics. I do photographs and make videos as well. But my practice at the moment is mostly ceramics. So, um, but I, it's just like wearing another hat. You know, you can be more than one person. I think, and and I'm more than one person. I'm Peggy as well. So, you know, it's, I think it's just like a fun thing to do. Oh God, I can do embarrassing. No, please don't. <laughs>